Greetings, YouTube community. It is I, the Family Car Guy, bringing you another episode. I apologize ahead of time that I have been gone for so long, but I promise you I have a good explanation for it. And that is, I have been on vacation, vacationing in the Caribbean with my beautiful bride, and I also made a special trip, which is the topic of this video, to Daytona International Speedway, the week of the Daytona 500. So excited to share that footage with you guys. You are going to see a little bit of a montage of um, different places that we went on the tour. Uh, we took like a VIP three-hour tour, Gilligan's Island style, um, on uh, basically touring the whole speedway. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't walk on the track, but the good reason for that yeah. is uh, typically uh, you can go on the, uh, the track as part of the, the VIP tour if you choose to do that, but the good reason for that is it was the week of the Daytona 500. We came in on that Monday and did the tour, and the Daytona 500 was actually on that Sunday. So cars were coming in. People were doing hot laps. There's also a road course in the middle of Daytona International Speedway, for those of you who don't know. And they do this thing where they can, where you can do a ride-along in an actual NASCAR uh, race car. So there are people doing that on the track. And so uh, we got to watch some flybys and take some video from uh, the infield and it was absolutely amazing. Let me just tell you guys, it was awesome. If you guys are race fans, and I'm not a huge NASCAR fan, um, but it was just an awesome experience. Something that I wanted to do and that was on my bucket list. Um, there's just some incredible, incredible stats about Daytona International Speedway. For example, in the grandstands, the grandstands by themselves can seat over 150,000 people just in the grandstands. And then on top of that, they've got all these different plazas and, and walkways and areas where people can just kind of hang out. And that can accommodate up to an additional 50,000 people. So on race day, um, you can be you can have easily upwards of 200,000 people um, at Daytona International Speedway. And then you can have hundreds more people in the infield. Uh, we get to uh, take a stop at. Uh, pit row we get to uh, make, take a stop at victory lane um, we get to look at some of the garages um, it's just amazing so without further ado i will show you guys that footage <laughs>
right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that footage. Um, there was some additional footage I added in there uh, of the archives. So the Daytona International Speedway and NASCAR itself has these archives that are a couple blocks away from the actual stadium. And the the only two ways you can actually access those archives are either A, go on the VIP tour, or B, you can basically do research. So it's got to be some kind of like a research project for like if you're doing like a term paper in college or, or something similar to that. Um, so basically, those are the only two ways you can see those archives. So took a lot of pictures in there. My favorite race car driver, my favorite NASCAR driver is Jeff Gordon, who won Daytona three times. Um, and so I was really excited to just see some some of the memorabilia from from his racing history. And he's now obviously retired. Um, so that was really, really awesome. Uh, a real quick fact about Daytona International Speedway is it is a two and a half mile long track. It can actually accommodate the, the track itself with all the square footage uh, that they own can actually house all of the sports stadiums, all of the major sports stadiums in the state of Florida, which is just crazy to me. So when you think about like where the Buccaneers play, and when you think about where the Dolphins play and all and so on and so forth, and you think about all those stadiums can actually fit inside of Daytona International Speedway. I mean, all the college football stadiums, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's just crazy to me. So that was awesome. There was also a picture in there that I took. Basically, it's of this lamp. And this lamp is actually made up of the designs of all the different speedways that make up um, NASCAR's holdings. And so the one that's lit up in green is the actual Daytona International Speedway. So that's pretty cool. So uh, just an awesome, awesome tour. And I recommend it highly to anybody who is thinking about going, um, who visiting, who's visiting Daytona, Daytona Beach area, or if you're in the Orlando area, it's a real quick one hour drive. It was a really good time. We rented a C7 Corvette. So that was kind of fun to drive that all the way out there to Daytona. We were staying in Orlando uh, for a couple of days uh, after our cruise in the Caribbean. So that was a good time. Um, other thing I wanted to mention is I have here, my friends, camera's having trouble focusing but this is a box that contains the first upgrade slash modification uh well not really the first one because the first one was the muffler delete if you've been following me um so we got that done we have the second official upgrade slash modification um for the c4 corvette i am very very excited i will be revealing that in a future video it is absolutely freezing in the state of Minnesota still we just got another six inches of snow yesterday so it's gonna be a little bit more a little bit more time before we get either the C4 or the, the Z06 out on the roads again so we're just gonna have to figure out some creative ways to continue to put content on the channel but I will be able to uh, make some some mods here and there and do some some work on the on the C4 at least here and there and that is my plan so let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Take your best guess as what you think is in the box and what mod are we going to start with. Um, I do have a heated garage, which is beautiful. The previous owner put put it in the house um, years ago. So I will. So if you look up here behind me, if I can ever, if I can find it here. There, oh, there it is. You can see it. So we got, we've got a. Uh, we got the heated garage thing going, so I could do some some work in the garage, and the, and the heater works pretty well. So I'm happy about that. Um, so I'm excited about that as well. If you are new to the channel, uh, please subscribe, um, and you can look at all my C4 content. I also have a C6 Z06. Uh, I'm the family car guy, and why am I called the family car guy? It is because two reasons. One. I am in my early 30s and I have not one but two Corvettes, my lovely black uh, 1996 LT4 and my 2006 C6 Z06 um, and I have three kids under the age of five and somehow my wife uh, has let me keep the Corvettes even though we've got three kids and the youngest kid is eight months so there you go. Um, and the other thing is 
um, I do think that family should be involved in, in your passion for cars. I don't think that the two are necessarily mutually exclusive. There's many ways that you can involve your family, not just your kids, but also your wife and also your friends and so on and so forth. So I really do think, I mean, cars, again, are about people. They're not just about the machines themselves. They're about the stories that are related to them. And so I'm just really excited to bring more content to you guys. I apologize. Like I said, I was traveling. I was on vacation uh, doing the family thing. But I'm really, really excited um, for what's to come on this channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that montage um, of my trip to the Daytona International Speedway with my bride. Uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Please uh, comment on this video. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think the new mod is. And... Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.